With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A fixed point P is given. How many rays can be drawn with P as the initial point? So they are asking us to find out from a fixed point how many rays can be drawn. So first we try to know what a point actually means. A point is a location represented by a dot. Point is a location represented by a dot. By a dot. This point it does not have any length or width does not have any length any length or width length or width now how is a point represented a point this is represented as this is a called as a point now from this point there n number of lines can pass through this point from this point there are n number that means we cannot count how many lines can pass through any fixed point now then we see what rays means rays this is a part of a line rays is a part of a line it has one end point it has one end point end point and extends and extends infinitely in and extends infinitely in any direction now how do we represent a ray a ray is represented by this is an example of a ray so from this we come to know that is it has got one end point we name it as o and it extends infinitely in any direction so we this is any one point which we keep so we call o a this is a ray now the question asked here is from a fixed point p so we keep a point here this is a fixed point p from this point how many rays can we draw so from here if we start drawing rays from this fixed point how many rays can be drawn so this is the first one second one third four so we come to know from this there are n number of rays which can be drawn from a fixed point from this particular point point p n number of rays can be drawn that is the answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.